with Tally RP9 release 5.0 coming up with a host of new exciting features. Tally Developer 9 release 5.02 brings with it some of the enhancements that can make working with the product even easier. This video will take you through the major enhancements in Tally Developer 9 which are version compatibility check, a functionality that aids in easier migration of customization from a lower release to a higher one. Incremental search, which is an improvised search option that suggests the progressive match when the user begins to type the characters in the incremental search box. And conversion to XML TDL feature, which is provided to convert the required TDL code to XML format. Let us first start with an understanding of the feature version compatibility check in detail. The version compatibility check assists in migration of your customizations to function in the latest release of Tally RP9 and it helps in identifying the changes done in the source code of any higher release that might affect your customization. There are two basic terms that needs to be remembered here. One is the base release and the other the target release. The base release is the Tally ARP9 release up to which the customization is compatible. The target release is the release to which the customization has to be migrated to. For example, if a customization is compatible up to release 4.8 and it needs to be migrated to release 5.0, then we call release 4.8 as the base release and release 5.0 as the target release. Now let us look at the steps involved to perform version compatibility check. The first step is to load the default TDL code of the base release, that is the release up to which the customization is compatible. The next step is to generate the compatibility metadata. Then we have to load the default TDL code of the target release followed by loading the customization project. We would then perform the version compatibility check and finally analyze the results and make necessary changes. Now let us go through the steps in detail, taking an example. In this case, our base release is 4.8 while our target release is 5.0. Thus, following the steps we mentioned earlier, we load the default TDL code of release 4.8. For this, let's look into the product. So we go to Tally Developer 9 and then in Tools, under Preferences, we go to Compiler or Execution Options. In the Tally ERP9 EXE Path field, browse and select the Tally ERP9 32-bit EXE for which the customization project was created. Then check the Load Default or Base TDL Reference from Tally ERP9 EXE Path option and click on OK button. So you can see the default TDL of the base release which is 4.8 in this case has been loaded. Now the second step is to generate compatibility metadata. So we go back to Tally Developer 9. We had already loaded the default TDL code for the selected Tally RP9 4.8 release. Now right click on the default TDL file and click on Generate Compatibility Metadata. You can see the output in the build panel. The output here is a file named tdlserver.ddif which gets generated in the Tally ERP9 folder of the base release. This file contains information on all the TDL definitions and it is encrypted. Here DDIF stands for Developer Description Index File. Similarly, DDIF file for the target release, if not available at its location, should also be generated. Creation of DDIF file is a one-time process and thus, once generated, we need not create it again. However, from release 5.0 onwards, this file will be available by default for release 5.0 and the higher releases. So coming to the third step, it is to load the default TDL code of target release which is 5.0 in our case. So now we again go back to tools, preferences and the compiler execution options. 
and we uncheck the load default or base TDL reference from tally ERP9 EXE path option. This will load the default TDL of the TD9 release which in our case is release 5.0. Thus now you see the default TDL of release 5.0 loaded which is our target release. Now we move to the fourth step where we load the customization project that requires to be migrated to the target release. In our example, we load the customization project called migration testing. Now this has to be migrated to the target release 5.0. The next step is the version compatibility check. For this, right click on migration testing which is our customization project and select the version compatibility check. The Tally ERP9 version compatibility analysis screen will get displayed. In the Tally ERP9 base release field, browse and select the same Tally ERP9 32-bit EXE where the generated TDL server .ddif file exists and click on analyze. A comparison of the target release against the base release default TDL code is done with the help of the DDIF files already generated earlier. A comparison result that can affect your customization gets displayed in the build tab. This can be selected and pasted to any document for better readability. This functionality will be available for use only in TD9 with active license and with valid TNS subscription. After the version compatibility check the last step is to analyze the results and make necessary changes in the customization project for it to work in the target release. In the build tab, as you can see there are three types of results that get displayed. Errors, warnings and remarks. Now let us analyze the results. The first one is an error. An error occurs when there is addition or deletion of definitions in source code of target release which will fail the execution of customization. Taking an example to illustrate an error, let us assume that there is an addition of a new definition in the target release which is 5.0 in our case. On the left is a code snippet of base release. As you can see there are three field definitions, name title field, short name title field and symbol title field. We have done a customization which has a field definition called particulars title. This customization is compatible up to release 4.8 as that is our base release. Now on the right side of the screen is the code snippet of release 5.0 in which a new field definition called particulars title has been introduced. Now let's do the version compatibility check of our customization with release 5.0. Since the field particulars title is defined both in the target release and the customization, we get the error duplicate description name field particulars title. Let's see the same in the product. You can see this error in the build tab of Tally Developer 9. Now let us assume the case where there has been a deletion of a definition from the target release. On the screen is a code snippet of our base release which has three line definitions. VTYP tax invoice, VTYP declaration and VTYP DEC. There is a customization where a new field has been added to the line VTYP declaration. This customization is compatible up to release 4.8. On the right side you can see the code snippet of release 5.0 where the line definition VTYP declaration is missing. Now let's do the version compatibility check of the customization with release 5.0. Here we can see that the line modified in the customization is no more available in the target release. Thus the system throws the error could not find original description for line VTYP declaration. You can see the same in the build tab of Tally Developer 9.2. The next type of result is the warning which occurs when a definition has been modified in the source code of the target release and that definition has been directly used in your customization which might affect the functionality. 
Here is a code snippet of base release 4.8 showing the widely used report definition DSP template. The customization is compatible up to release 4.8 where the report DSP template is used in the report definition SMPL product wise RPT. The default code of the target release shows the report definition DSP template. Now let's do the version compatibility check of the customization with release 5.0. The system identifies that a variable DSP show additional description is added in the report DSP template in the target release. Since the report DSP template is used in our customization, a warning namely description report DSP template is modified in the target version is displayed. The last type of result is the remark which occurs when a definition has been modified in the source code of the target release and that definition has been indirectly used in your customization which might affect the functionality. In order to see the remarks, we right click on migration testing and go to properties. Under compiler execution options, we check on the show remarks box and save the same. Now we have to run the version compatibility check and you will get the list of remarks along with the errors and the warnings in the build panel. So basically, this tool helps you in migrating your customization from any particular release to its higher release. For instance, if you have written a customization in release 4.8 and you wish to migrate it to 4.92, your base release in this case will be release 4.8 and the target release will be release 4.92. For this, you will have to generate DDIF files for both the releases. So following the steps we had previously mentioned, we will first load the default DDL of the release 4.8. And then we right click on the loaded default DDL release 4.8, click on generate compatibility metadata. If you see, this option is not active because the DDIF file for this release was already created in our previous example. Then we have to generate the DDIF file for release 4.92. First, we have to load the default TDL of the same by browsing the tally rp 9 exe path. And then check the option load default base TDL reference from tally rp 9 exe path. Now we would generate the compatibility metadata. Now that the DDIF files for both the releases are created, the version compatibility check is performed for the customization project by selecting the option version compatibility check. With this, we complete all the steps of the version compatibility check. So to summarize, the major benefits of version compatibility check are quicker identification of potential errors that prevents migration and comprehensive list to debug errors all at once saving considerable time. The next enhancement to be discussed is the incremental search. Incremental search allows you to progressively search the typed text in a TDL file and one can easily toggle between the matched text in the same TDL file. Now let's look at the steps to perform the incremental search. We go to search and select the option incremental search or we can also press the shortcut Ctrl I in Tally Developer 9. Once this option is selected, incremental search box is displayed below the output window, which is highlighted in blue. Now let's see how the search happens. The cursor is in the beginning of the file. When we type, for example, X, the cursor moves to the first reference where X is found in the file from its position. Now let's type M. The cursor moves to the first reference where XM is found from its current position. In the same way, let's type L. The cursor moves to the reference where XML is found, thus allowing us to progressively search and find the matched text in a TDL file as we type. To find the next result or the matching reference, click Find Next in the search menu or press F3. The cursor moves to the next reference of XML. To find out the previous result, 
Click Find Prev in Search menu or press Shift F3. The cursor moves to the previous reference of text XML. The last but not the least major TD9 enhancement is the feature called Convert to XML TDL. The Convert to XML TDL feature allows you to convert the project or files in TDL to XML TDL. This simplifies the generation of XML request where TDL in XML format has to be included and sent to Tally RP9 for appropriate response. It helps in integration of Tally ERP9 with external applications based on BB.NET etc. or the mobile applications if the medium of exchange is in XML format. The steps to convert to XML TDL are First, we load the project or the files in the TDL format and then we need to convert them to XML TDL. Let's see the same in the product. As you can see, we have already loaded the project that has to be converted to XML TDL. Now right click on the project or the file that has to be converted which is migration testing in this case and click on convert to XML TDL. As you can notice once we have selected this option the status of conversion and the location of the XML TDL file gets displayed in the build tab. On the screen is the generated XML TDL file and this can be used in the XML request to be sent to Tally RP9. Similarly, we can also convert the individual TDL files to XML TDL files. These were the three major enhancements in Tally Developer 9 release 5.0. This brings us to the end of this session. Thank you.